In the last episode, we talked about different ways of creating polygons using the draw tool. Today is episode 8 and we are going to talk about how to create different types of arcs and curvatures in Revit. Let's start by creating model lines. In the draw panel tool, we have different types of arcs available to sketch. Let's start by using start ends radius arc. As the name suggests, first we define the start point, next the end point and the radius. Let's say I will type in the 10 meter as the radius dimension. Because the chain option is on, the software is prompting me to create a next start ends radius arc. The next arc is center ends arc. To create a center ends arc, first we need to define the center point, then the start point and the end point. To make any changes to the arc, you can always come back to its arc, change the radius for example, or its start point or its end point. Let's try the third arc. This is a tangent end arc. It creates a curve that connects to the end of an existing line. So I can start from an existing line's endpoint and continue to create arcs that are tangent to each other. Escape to come out of the tool. The fourth arc is a fillet arc. To understand the fillet arc better, I'm going to create a rectangle. Let's create a fillet arc at this corner. I'm going to select the first line and the second and now you have the opportunity to define a radius or simply click and come back to this arc and make changes. If you already know the radius of your fillet arc, you can go into the options bar and define the radius exactly of the value that you need. When you create a fillet, it's automatically going to create a fillet arc of that value. Of course, you can always come back and make changes to that. When you create chain of lines using any of these shapes here, if you have defined a radius already, when you create the chain of lines, all the corners will be filleted at the value that you have defined. Fifth type of curvature we can create is a spline. Spline creates a smooth curve between the control points that you define on the screen. I'm going to escape to end the spline. When you select your spline, you are able to edit these control points in order to smoothen the curve further. You also have the opportunity to add a control point or delete a control point. Let's talk about ellipse now. There are two types of ellipse available, a full ellipse and a partial ellipse. Let's start with a full ellipse. Like circle, we'll define a center point the first radius, let's say 10 meters, and the next radius, let's say 3 meters. You can come back to an ellipse and change the value to the desired length. The same principle goes for the partial ellipse, the diameter and the radius. You can come back to this partial ellipse, change its starting and ending points, to make changes to the length of the arc. You can also come back and change the radiuses. Before we move on to the next topic, let's try this exercise of creating a fillet arc of exactly 1.8 meters on a rectangle. You may pause this video at this point and try to follow the steps. In the next episode, we are going to talk about levels how to create them and how to set them up for your project. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next.